Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 14 of Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. Where well, exactly we're at the end of part 13, and we've just finished off doing that whole party. Well, we had to break into the party and find out what they were doing. Funnily enough, they weren't, they weren't doing anything to do with the dragons, we just slaughtered a bunch of guards for, you know, no reason whatsoever. Apart from they are searching for some guy called Erebarn, 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 yeah, somebody like that, you know what I meant. And we've got a quest to do with that in Riften, I believe. However, we're going to go off and we're going to do... Not that. We're going to do... The Meridian quest. The Breaking of Dawn is what we're going to do. And we could teleport pretty much all of the way there. Uh, before we do that, though, we're just going to sell a bunch of stuff that we picked up in that last section. Hi, Camilla. Thank you. You and me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasurers. Yes. I had a feeling you were going to say that. So... Oh, yeah, that mace is actually a lot stronger than our axe, isn't it? But anyway. The elven mace is even better. 17. I don't think we can do dwarven armor though, can we? We can't upgrade dwarven armor yet, as far as I'm aware. So we're kind of stuck on level 21. I... I'll keep it for a sec. We can get rid of those, and all of those, and all of those. Oh, he doesn't have enough for all of those. Have you got anything I need? Have you got any spells left that I didn't know? It'd be useful to know, or it'd be useful to be able to see what I have here. You know, if I like, if I know it or not. If it could tell me somewhere in here, it'd be very handy. But it doesn't seem to, does it? Raise zombie, we know. Less award increases armor rating by forty. I don't know if we know that. Learning all this stuff kind of helps us, doesn't it? I thought we knew Fury. Clairvoyance and Frostbite we certainly know. Oh well. Soon find out. Yes, he's not got a lot left, has he? Uh, okay, fine. There's only one gold in it. I thought he was going to have some steel arrows, not going to. Your usefulness has uh, gone, my friend. I'm going to have to travel to another shop. Right, also, we picked up something about... Yeah, we've got two unusual gems now. We just need one more. And I think we can kind of steal one where we get the quest. And we only need three to finish the quest off. I think, I think... I don't think I've ever got that unusual gem before where that frost troll was, which is why I was so determined to kill the damn thing. Hang on a minute. I didn't pick up the rest of my stuff, did I? Because I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff here. Am I not? I think I am, you know. Hmm. 
she got them in that chest in her place. Bit cheeky. Mm. Recover your equipment, there you go. Oh yeah, there's dragon stuff in there, what the fuck? Take all, Steve, take all, that's what you're after. <laughs> Made hard work of that, didn't I? Right, let's just check our books. Okay, I thought I might have triggered something when it said Dragon Investigation Current Status. Elwyn's Reception. Right, let's read Fury. Nice, didn't have it. Bless Award. Nice, didn't have it. Oak Flesh. Nice, didn't have it. Nice one, Steve. Well, we're going to have to take a dive to Whiterun, I think. It's the easiest place to get rid of stuff. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything trinkets. Everything's for sale, my friend. Yeah, it was worth getting those, hundred and seventy three each. Go on, level up. Oh. 158 for each of those hooded Thalmor robes as well. I might be able to learn from them, right enough. Right, he's almost out of cash already. I'm picking up some good stuff there. to the ring I was wearing. Oh there, Ring of Destruction, I've already got it on. 223 for that necklace, bloody hell. Yes, he's wearing out his usefulness as well. Do come back in your most sarcastic voice ever there, Bella thought. You're someone who take a look. Yeah, let me just check actually. We can't I'm pretty sure we can't upgrade dwarven stuff. The refined moonstone, fine. 
lack the required components. All right, so we can actually do it then. Got some good. I don't claim. Take a look. Well, she's got refined moonstone as apples. Is there only one we needed? All right. 23 damage. Have you met my father? He's a steward. I help my father. Take a look. Oh, dwarven metal ingots carrying loads of them as well. Why is silver ingot two and then oh it's steel, that's why. I'm actually I'm wondering while we're here if I should just do a bit of try and get this blacksmithing up. I just used the bloody bear pelt that I'm meant to be doing for that quest. Never mind. Never ye mind. I think, you know, daggers might be the easiest thing to make in general. You need to do a bunch of, like, making stuff just to... Like, make the thing that uses the least of everything. Try and get your blacksmithing up. It takes bloody hours, this though. It really does. Probably the braces, isn't it? Two leather strips and a leather. Nice. I just leveled up. Gonna run out of leather. So that's the thing to do. Just ma keep making a bunch of cheap stuff. The finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Nice, two level ups. Just got two level ups in our smithing. Let's try and get one more. I don't claim the finest weapons and armor. Hmm. I think most stuff uses strips, doesn't it? So there's no point buying a bunch of iron to make. Let's just check it. Until next time. Iron Dagger uses one strips and one iron ingot, I think. Yeah, it looks like daggers are the easiest thing to do as it happens. Yep, 
Yeah, you could level this up quite quick. I'm saying it takes ages, but if you've got loads of coin, just keep coming back and buying all of her iron and use leather strips. Sell her all the stuff back once you've done. I'm carrying too much now. I've made so much stuff. Jesus Christ. How many levels is that we've gone up? And it's leather strips we've run out of now. Need to sell some of this stuff. <laughs> I help my I can't move. Can you buy my stuff off me, please? Needs, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. A So all the daggers gone. Twenty hide braces. <laughs> Have you got anything else I can make with? Don't think she has, does she? Because I can't make any of the other stuff yet. I don't think. All right then. No, just iron and hide. I suppose the only other thing left is if her dad's got some stuff as well, because you've got two people to buy from in here. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but useful to those people who have not done this before. You've got small weapon. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yep, she's got leather, and he's got leather strips, and he's got iron ingots. Good doing business with you. Can't move again. Hang on a minute. How comes? Most of our weapons were. Hmm. Try to sell stuff back to him. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Just by buying all of that stuff off him, I seem to have gone complete. Oh well, I've got 18 dwarven metal ingots right enough. Sell him that. Uh, I'm saying that though. I think I'd rather keep him in my chest. Not the easiest thing to come by later on. If you want to do something with dwarven stuff. Can't move. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More carrying a lot, carrying a lot. Okay, let's do the iron stuff first. Daggers. One more. <laughs> Check that out. Rocking with it now. Can make a hide helmet. That's all I've got left. <laughs> nice. Right. Well, that's awesome. It all helps toward our bog standard level ups as well. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. They. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Well, that was worth it, actually. Some really good level up. We've got a level up as well, people. Let's dump our ingots in Bree's home. Hey, did we get all the level ups for this year? I don't think we did, you know. I think there was a couple we couldn't get because we ran out of coin, I feel like. Huh? Check that out in a second. Hey, that's in the chest. So let's. Yeah, bones as well. I've got loads of got dragon bones here. Way loads. Don't know what that's all about. Or that goblet. I've got a fair bit of leather left, actually. Overly sure why I've still got, we've got that. It's 
Saber cap pelt. How come it wouldn't let me use that to make leather? It's a bit weird. Should be able to sell all of those, to be fair. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of food and stuff still to get sorted out. Let's have a look at our level up. No. That's the last thing. Ooh, what were we going with here? Stamina's fell a bit behind, didn't it? Blimey, it's been that long since I've played... Well, part 13 I just recorded and then went straight on to this, but, but uh, this is the first level up we've had. <laughs> I can't remember for the life of me what I was doing. Hey. Oh, hello, smithing. Yeah, what can... You are... Are you sure you... All right, we can make... You can create steel armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. Well, I might take that, you know. Because that's where we're coming a bit unstuck at the minute with our weapons. Can improve magical weapons and armor. That needs level 60 in smithing. Elven smithing. Oh, easy. Dwarven smithing. Requires 30. So you can get to 30, which isn't too bad, to be fair. We've just got ourselves up about five levels there in about a few minutes. Orcish. Uh, ebony, it's 80. Daedric. Dragon is 100. I did get that in my first, well, the playthrough that I finished. Back in the day, I got 100. Had some dragon armor on. I think I'm going to take that just so we can get our weapons better. Twice as much as well, improve them twice as much. Let's do it. Ow. Ow. Lydia, for someone that fights with alongside me as much as you do, I'd just stand on your toes and you make that noise. A bit of a slower episode, this people, but it's well worth what I'm doing it. Have you met? I help my father and more. Take a look. I want steel ingots, please. Ah, uh, how have you not got any steel ingots? Did I just put some steel ingots in my chest? I might have done, you know. She's normally got some steel ingots. How come she's not got any? Did you got dad got some. Got small, hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. God damn it! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! What was the point of that upgrade? Now I can't even get any bloody steel ingots. I can't remember how quickly they replenish the stock either. Hey, uh, it's a good job it's so quick going in and out of doors now, isn't it? I've got one steel ingot. How the hell have they not got any steel ingots? I'll tell you who might have some. Fuck it. I will I will kill you, Lydia, if you don't move out of the way. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Between you and bloody Mind you, Nick's not that bad. No, I have I have threatened to shoot Nick in the face a few times in Fallout 4. <laughs> to be fair. Right, okay, I'll tell you what we can do. I'll tell you what we can do, people. I'm on a mission now. We've got Morthal, but what was the other one we went to? Windhelm, wasn't it? That's Solitude. Where's Windhelm at? Dawn Star. Completely lost my bearings. Here we go. Windhelm. Palace of the Kings, Windhelm. Because we didn't really take anything off of the blacksmith at Windhelm. I don't think we had any money at the time. And loads of vendors at the market to buy our stuff off us. 
apart from it's night time, for fuck's sake. Now we're cooking, people. He founded the empire. <clears throat> right, his apprentice is out. Oh, there he is. Says Jorland... Oangal Wardanvil. Name like that, you've got to be a blacksmith, haven't you, really? Ah, I think they sell... I think you can buy pretty much anything off... Uh, sorry, sell anything off into this place. Maybe. Could just be potions. Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I think... Uh, hang on a minute, what's... I'm so close to the answer. <laughs> I feel a quest coming on. What's his name? Neurelian. Okay, I'll bite. What are you arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doted busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where it is, I can get it. You would do that? Yep. It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Okie doke. The White File. Uh, why is it so important? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. For in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. What is the White File? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Okay, let's trade. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? <laughs> Not really, I just want to sell you my shiz. A 15% harder to set for... Uh... Carrying capacity increased by 30 for 300 seconds. Nah, sorry, get rid of them. Keep the invisibility, might come in handy. Cure will keep. Destruction. But I could have taken one of them now. <laughs> Potion of health, minor healing, magicka, stamina, regeneration. Potion of stamina times three. We've got loads in here, haven't we? Oh, he's run out of money already, for fuck's sake. Books you got?
Why are you still standing around here? May the eight guide you to the fire. Ah, we've got people. You need? I have a lot of res. Take a look. What can I sell you, my friend? Oh, quite a bit by the looks of it. Well, I'm not going to bother with that mace, I don't think. I might try and upgrade my steel axe instead. Could give it to Lydia, though. Uh, oh, I was going to take—I was going to dismantle that to get the destruction spell thing. You can have this necklace and frostbite venom. Never going to use those. Nice. Let's see what you've got in the way of stuffs. Dwarven arrows I might take. Yeah, they're two better than the steel ones, aren't they? I'm not sure I've ever dealt with these people at the stores before. I must have done, though. Pickpocket. Success is 15% better. Nice. Bound sword. Creates a magic sword for 120 seconds. Well, I've not learnt it. Might as well take it. That'll do. You sure? Ooh, so it's taken ages to get rid of this stuff. Before you wander off, what you got for sale? I need steel ingots. That'll do. That cost a bit. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Huh? Everything you see is grown at my family's own holly. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard Woundfirth pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for? Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? God's sake! I'm trying to get rid of stuff, not take more. I'll make sure he gets it Thanks. then. What you got for sale? Everything I got on display, really. Yeah, I can't sell you much. Good day. You still had many associates in the shipping profile. You seem to be at one with your store. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Right, I can sell you a bit. keep forgetting all this stuff actually weighs something. All this little ingredient stuff. Nice. Another level up. Say 
Right, we've got rid of a fair bit there. What's our weight like now? It's still 213. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I've got all those ingots right enough. Okay, let's get our stuff done here. Right, steel dagger. No, iron dagger, Steve. Oh, wait a minute. I've just bought a whole bunch of steel ingots. Because <laughs> I wanted to improve my... Oh, never mind. What are you doing, Steve? Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. A word of advice. Metal hammer. The finest weapons and armor. If you meet anyone in your travels who needs good steel, send them my way. Ooh, one short of level 28. Run out of iron ingots. I never expected Ulfric to live up to his legend, but he does. Right, I need to use this, please. Come. I couldn't ask for a better teacher than Owen Gold. Hmm. It only takes it up to 19. I thought it. Upgrades it twice as much, my ass. I tell you what, I might. Did I not have a blacksmith in brew though? Yeah, it might be in my chest actually, back at the place. Wide range of assorted goods. F. Hermir. Take a look. He doesn't actually sell leather, does he? Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. What can I do for you? Level twenty seven. Need something? Come and run. Fine selection. Everything's fresh and delicious. Hi. Take a look. Hmm. Oh, right, I've got loads of leather, but no strips. All right. Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. Be nice to get to level thirty. Oh, if we can get to thirty, we can go up in our blacksmith in two. Well, take two routes, I think. Should do it, I think. Nice. Oh, level twenty nine. 
God damn it. <laughs> I never expected Ulfric to live up to his legend. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Okay, well, we've done as much there as we can then. Well, this has turned into a bit of a blacksmithing episode, isn't it? But I've actually been really enjoying it. I'm not sure how interesting it is to watch, but it could be handy for someone that's never... Well, someone that's trying to work out how to increase the blacksmith in the quickest, cheapest possible way. And... I want to get a white run. I think. Yeah. Actually, I keep forgetting there's another bloody blacksmith in White Run. I haven't been to see him yet. He's behind the werewolf's place. Oh, we could get we could go and see if we've got that blacksmithing potion as well. If we are going to upgrade something, take it up another level. Also. Hmm. How have I not got something that gives me better blacksmithing huh? items wise as well? No, I saw something near Because if we can get that perk onto our kit. I made some blacksmithing kit the last time. Well, in my main playthrough that I did a long time ago. Yeah, well, there's the blacksmith's draft. I'll take that for a sec. Now I've all the stuff I've got in there is just consumable. Well, the dragon stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can make yourself a whole outfit with blacksmithing perk on it. How long do I get it for? 30 seconds for 30% better, so you can only do one item, really. What? Still 19. I don't know what happened there then. Didn't seem to get anything better, did I? Although, mm, that's interesting, yeah, because before I took the potion, I wasn't able to increase that at all, was I? So, yeah, so my bow's now better than it was. But the war axe seemed to be 19 or 19, didn't seem to care. I wonder, um, that was a bit silly. I would have been better, actually, upgrading the war axe first, and then doing it again with the potion in me. That was silly, Stephen. Never mind. That's when we went in. I assume that's when we came out, was it? Hmm. Bit of a risk. <laughs> Yeah, there's my draft, yeah. So, 
let's just upgrade that to 19. I've got 19 steel ingots anyway. Take our potion. I mean, in fact, if we had some moonstone ingots, we could do that thingy one as well. Take a look. I think I already bought them off and might have put them, for fuck's sake. I think I might have put them in my chest. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. What the hell? Came into my house. Oh, I don't. Must have used it already. Right, fine. Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Wouldn't we all, my friend? I don't claim to be the best. Oh my god, move out of the way. Oh my the god. Got that on oh fuck no. Why? Why is your dad not at work? Where the bloody hell is your dad gone? Why is he not working? You tried mercenary work? It's better. We've got some. Take a look. <laughs> it's pretty typical, isn't it? He's not got any either. Good doing business with him. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yeah, refined moonstone. Well, no, I still can't do that any higher. What's that all about? Oh, I lack the skill, but eh, maybe. All right, okay. That's as much as I can do then. I w Advanced armors. Can create scaled and plate armors at forges and improve them twice as much. Yeah, because there's still plate armor as well, isn't there? Dragon armor. Yeah, I've been around the houses with that already. Okay. Well, we've done a fair bit of leveling up there. I can't believe I've done the best part of 48 minutes of just getting our blacksmithing skill up. But we are... Did we make it to level 30? I think we did. No, I'm level 29 still. I'm sure we've got somebody. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Age. Oh yeah, I needed leather, that's what it was. I don't think she's got any, I think I bought it all. Take a look. Oh no, she's got some. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. There's a steel armor. It's heavy though. Imperial. You need iron ingots to make the steel ingots as well. Uh, 
That'll do it. Level 30 in blacksmithing. So that means we can now go to the next level of this blacksmithing tree. Oh, that's 16, not that one. So we can take Dwarven if we want. But most likely I'm going to go that way because it's the light armors we're interested in. So we could go there and then up to advanced armors. I'm pretty sure plate armors are light, aren't they? Scaled. Anyway, that's where we'll head. Let's see how far we can get with it. So if we dump the rest of this stuff in our chest and then we can make moves for the next part of what we're going to do. Twenty-three, and our axe is on nineteen. I think still, yeah. So we didn't get the axe as far up as I was going to get it. I hope to get it anyway. Well, we needed to sell the braces, Steve. Why didn't you do that? And we need to collapse that as well. I think if you've got a thing, you can put those in a satchel or something, can't you? Yeah. Come on, Lydia. Didn't put anything in it in the end. Right, let's sell her the braces and go up and destroy that armor. Don't claim to be the best black. Take a look. That was steel ingots I wanted to put away. That's what it was. It's Eighteen carrying that you don't need to be carrying. Sorry, guys. In and out of bloody breeze home constantly. It would have been useful if the chest was at the bloody foot of the stairs, wouldn't it, really? Thank the Lord, it's two seconds in and out of a house. Not even that, it's a one second, I think. Yeah, I wanted to check if I'd actually bought all the upgrades as well, didn't I? It's the guy here. She's usually wandering about somewhere. I'm not here to talk about the ongoing hostilities. Just leave me alone. Ah, we already know it. Divine smile on you. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. I don't actually know where that guy wanders off to. Like, I always look around for him, because he's the dad of the girl at the blacksmith, isn't he? And then I wander around looking for him, I come back down and he just appears here somewhere. 
Fear not. Come dragon or giant, we'll be ready. There's Yell's quarters. No, I don't know where he goes. What's here? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. No. The of the great warriors. Fuck's sake, Lydia. <laughs> He's not going to appear as a. Every time I come and see him, it's like, where the fuck are you, mate? I don't know if going out and in again jolts anything or not. Not for coming out, is he? Ha! Old there he is. Around, huh? I serve Jarl Balgrim. I'll be glad to help you. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of it. Now, what would you like to purchase? Well, Alchemy Lab, please. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Loft. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Uh, replace my alchemy lab with a child's room. Oh. No. Don't want to do that. Thank you. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Right, just going to have a look at the house and then we're done. Well, I'm pretty chuffed with that. I know it was a slow episode, but what I'll probably do is I'll probably put this up as part 14, I don't know, A, and do a 14B that's more action. We'll go off and do the Meridian thing. Damn, those brain men still living. They want to back this thing close. I work for Bellator. I could do it the other way around, but it would be a bit back to front then, wouldn't it? You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend. What are you doing in my house? Put that fire out. Ah, alchemy lab. Nice. There's my satchel, and we can put all of our ingredients in there. Look at our weight. Our weight's gone right down to 90-something here. Eighty nine weight, check that out. I think I ate something by mistake. <laughs> if you eat stuff, you learn what it is, I think, don't you? Oh, nice, there's a chest in here. So I can actually put stuff in a second chest without 
Fuck, I swear to God, Lydia. Oh, that's awesome. I think they updated it, didn't they? So you can actually adopt two children, I think. And have them staying in your house. But all that happens is they keep asking you for gifts when you come back from your travels and stuff. Alchemy Lab's probably more useful. Well, there you are. We'll wrap that up for what will probably be a part A. And I'll do a part B. Well, we'll go off and we'll do... It was well worth doing that, though. Uh, just to get our... Uh, in fact... <sighs> oh, I'm not wearing steel armor, am I? That's why. We could upgrade Lydia's armor, to be fair. She's got steel on. But generally what I do is I'll wait until I've got the steel plate armor and then upgrade her at that point. She gets steel plate armor. Well, there you go, folks. It has been an honor and a privilege serving for you once again in Skyrim. And I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.